Solving coming from another cabin. That'll be Clarissa. We will listen. Put my ear to the keyhole. Solving, solving. More solving. Ripping something up. More solving. She's right in there. All right, then. Knock on the door. Are you in there? Go away. Um, the steward could open this door if I asked him to. You witch! I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know! Have you seen Malcolm? Where is he? You don't know? You really don't know? What What did you see, Clarissa? Please tell me. Go away. Did he, did he hurt you? What? No, no, it was you. You hurt him. Go away. Leave me alone, you monster. You harpy. She collapsed into floods of tears again, enough to spoil her bed sheets. Maybe she didn't see anything after all. Let's try knocking again. Clarissa, go away. Uh, meet me on the upper deck. Why? Do it for Malcolm. Trust me. I hate you. Duck out of sight. A few minutes pass by, then Clarissa steps out, hurries up. She's gone. Try the door. It's locked. So we will leave. And we will go and speak to her on the upper deck. Maybe I can convince her that I didn't do it. And also I won't try and kill her. She is. Well, you wanted to talk to me? Out with it. I can see you're upset. You need to get some, some more sleep and try to calm down. Don't patronize me. I saw him fall with Veronica last night. It was horrible. I was in my bunk just writing something. And I looked up and he shot past the porthole in front of me. You're sure it was him? I wasn't sure until I saw your face this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. He wouldn't have done it except for you. You didn't love him. Why didn't you let him go? You think he killed himself? He would have left you too. He was that kind of man. No, no he wouldn't. He loved me. He loved me. You can't have seen it. It was dark outside. The glass would have reflected your cabin. I know what I saw. Is that your porthole down there? Was this where he was standing? Maybe I'm not sure. He needs out to see. I glance up towards the bridge. I think I can see Anders at the wheel. Could I, if it's Anders, and I've actually seduced him this time, is it your cabin? Maybe? I'm not so sure. Lean a bit further and check. Uh, I don't think it is. It has to be. I saw him. I did see him. Uh, you imagined it, that's all. If I imagined it, then where is he? When we get off this boat, I hope I never see you again, Veronica. Wait, I see dolphins! He wasn't worth it, you know. All this, he was a pitiful excuse for a man. Just stop talking to me. Please! Clarissa runs away, sobbing out her little heart. Anders appears from below. There you are. We're needed in the restaurant now. Oh, this is it. Uh, would you walk me there? Certainly, madam. Let me take your arm. Right, there we go. Less than one hour. Okay, we've got, well, in the, um, the car says and Major soon gathered. Chris is turned behind, standing apart, still sniffling. Anders walks me in and steps to one side. Thank you for coming. Anders, where's Lady Armstrong? I looked in on her, but she was fast asleep. I couldn't wake her. I imagine she wouldn't be able to help us anyway. We will continue without her. I apologize for gathering you all here. It's most unusual, but I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. Mrs. Villancy? Malcolm Villancy isn't with you. Tell them, Veronica. Uh, missing since last night. I'm worried sick. It's true, I think. The maid told me the bed had not been slept in. <gasps> oh, I forgot to do that. He's gone, Veronica. He left you. The only way he could. I saw him fall into the sea. Last night, he fell past my window as I looked out. She told me this nonsense already. She says she saw him through a porthole in the dark. It's ludicrous. He reached out to me like a ghost. This is in very poor taste. The fact is, Mr. Villancy is missing. But there's no evidence of anything untoward. It's my bl Oh, committed suicide. Do you really think? Don't believe her. You mustn't. She's a snake. She pushed him into the sea rather than let me take him. There, I said it. What? My own husband? Because you knew he was going to leave you for me. He was going to take all this money with him. He didn't have any money. The money in our marriage is mine. Mrs. Villingy? It was her. She did it. That's a lie. I must admit that does sound like a lie. It's clear this pretty girl was having an affair with your husband. I must ask you, Mrs. Villancy, did you kill your husband? Wait, hang on. How is she not also a suspect? He may have turned her down. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. So what happened? Yeah, Clarissa must have killed him. She loved him and she couldn't have him. You dog, you beastly dog. Enough, ladies. Don't fight. No one thinks she did anything to hurt Mr. Villancy, Miss Turpentine. Oh, thank you, Commander. I must advise the Captain that Malcolm Villancy committed suicide last night. Frankly, I do not believe it. But I do know, Mrs. Villancy... With the verdict of suicide, it prevents a life insurance payment from being being, being made. Wh whatever, whether that is just or not, I cannot judge. I will be penniless. Your husband should have considered this before he jumped. Anders, will you escort me? 
I think I better had. We'll arrive in less than an hour. You should prepare to disembark. I think I want to be alone. Sounds like a good idea. Chapel is to the front of the boat. And Mrs. Villeneuve wants we arrive in America. Yes, my darling. Don't try to leave the state. You snake. <sighs> Bar of the hotel party. Another drink, miss? Are you sure? Don't you think you've had enough? I'm waiting for someone. He'll come. I'm sure he'll come. Hard time, sir. It wasn't meant to be like this. You know, I thought I had a good thing going. I really thought that. I had a plan. It almost worked. So close. Damn it all. Oh my goodness, how do I get the life insurance? I've got it. I've got... I've got to... I've got to get the key somehow. And... Blame Clarissa. Get a... Ah! Thank you. Can I make a thousand pounds? It's like, it's, it's all these little things. I like, I want that passkey. I do! <clears throat> Who's there? Steward, what do you want? Yes, we'll get the before. Thank you. All right, run and go. Eight hours, you're free. Look around the cabin, bathroom, tablets. Read the, oh, I don't need to read the label. That just takes time. I should just pocket them. Fix my face. Oh, the earring's missing. Right, pocket the other one. Because... <gasps> yeah, if I can get into Clarissa's room, I can put it... I can plant it in her room. The bed, we need to actually... I think we need to actually scramble the sheets. So that they think I slept... That we slept in. Get up. Now leave. Um... That's the steward. No, where's... He's, the, he's in his room. Okay, we'll go to the restaurant and talk to Clarissa. Maybe that'll improve kind of a, a reputation with her. I'm late. Nearly empty. Clarissa. Uh, she didn't like to sit with Clarissa. Cool, aren't you? Uh, excuse me? I know what you did to him. What are you talking about? Don't tell me you don't know. Have you seen my husband? How, have I... Have, no one saw any of that. Alright, now we go to the bridge. <gasps> Trouble there, command, he's there. Wave to Anders. How are you faring this morning? Better for seeing you. This is Vinzi. I usually do my rounds between 11 and 12. About half us, I can be near your camp. <gasps> Perhaps you might be in. I will see you there. Okay. Have you been up here before? Can I try the wheel? Sure thing. We could head to Cuba, maybe. It's that way. I'll hold it, and you hold my arms. All right. Whee! Hold her steady. Just keep going. The shore's in sight. But look out for those rocks. What rocks? I've got my eyes closed. Oh, my dear, so have I. <laughs> Splice the main brace. Okay, hold her steady. Strong and stable, that's the way. Your knuckles are white, dear. There, dolphins off the port bow. Where? Off the port bow, dear. Port is that way. They've gone now. Stunning creatures. Living families, never a cross word. Marvellous. They give me the shudders. They're always laughing. If you say so, here goes. Uh, hard to snarbard. Gentle now, gentle. That treat her kindly. She'll keep you steady. For a moment, everything seems pure and simple and true. For a moment. All right, that's enough now. But I'm getting so good at it. I'm glad you think so. Do you know, I was on watch here last night. Oh, yes. That's right. It was a quiet night. Light breeze, no fog. Relatively low... Relatively good visibility. Uh, my friend... I feel I've known you a long time. We're old souls, Mrs. Villainy. That must be it. Are you trying to tell me something? You and your husband like to take the air at night. Did you know you're not the only ones who do that? Lady Armstrong also takes a stroll about that time. Oh, does she? She does. Now, Mrs. Villainy, I should perhaps return to my duties. It's 11.30 then. Good day. So actually, if I go in at 11, I might be able to grab the key then, maybe? So I've got an hour. No, I don't want to... I don't know where I want to go is the problem. Right, what do I need to do? Is the ship really sinking? Can I get into Clarissa's cabin? Can I make a thousand pounds? I don't think I can make a thousand pounds. Oh, unless you go down here. But he's going to have spotted the, the diamond... The earring, which I want to get rid of. Um... Yeah, let's go here. 
So from 11, I want to be... I want to be heading into his place. It's not here. It's already been spotted. My husband is missing. It's been terribly unreliable. Have you seen him? I don't have him scrolled away in my cabin, my dear. Toodles! Oh, look! Up there on the bridge, isn't that the commander? Mr. Anders? You're playing it cool. I do believe he's waving at us. You rather like him, don't you, my dear? Uh, he's very dashing. Oh, indeed. Quite a favourite. But you know, not all the glitters is gold. What does that mean? He's a very charming man. So young. He must be very good at his job. He must be, yes, whatever his job is. He has a secret. You're quite the detective. Me? No, no, not at all. I'm really interested in people. People are fascinating things, always hiding things, always. Mark my words, dear, no one is ever being straight with you. Not ever. Pulls a string of rosary beads and strides away. Right, let's look at the deck. No, nothing here. Right, the rail. Uh, New York site. No, lean away. Go below. I don't know if, I, if she's going to say anything more. But I don't want to be too far from here. This is the thing, is I don't want to go down. So let's just stay here and try and stall out a bit of time. No, it's still not here. Wait by the rail, 15 minutes go by. Though it's daybreak, there's that familiar chill of excitement in the air. But a new life is shaped by the conditions of its birth. Like the stars above the crib of a newborn, I must have money when I land. Money, freedom, influence, to be worn any other times to invite disaster. And I've just realized that Anders is going to take the key with him, isn't he? Wave to Anders. Commander! But he just waves me away. Watch the waves. The sound is still falling, there's no way to know for sure. Anders opens the door of the bridge and heads down the ladder, leaving an officer in charge. Doing my rounds! Okay, yeah, I thought that might happen. So we will go back down. And we'll go back to my cabin. And we're a bit later than I was planning. Malcolm's jacket outside the door to my room. I'm not sure where he'd lost it. I take it inside and hang it over a chair. There's a knock at the door. This is Villainsy. It's Anders. Come in. You've got a key? I do. His key has a red tag. Where does this jacket come from? Put it by the that. Okay, we'll close the door. Of course. Uh, you wanted to see me. Here I am. Magnificent. And may I ask, did you want me to see me? Kiss me, Anders. Yes, ma'am. I don't know if this, this seems to have kept me alive. The one time I got, I didn't get arrested. The one time I got arrested, I didn't do this. Right, okay, so we do all this. Then <sighs> he puts his hat back on. Um, took the helm, apparently. Wait, don't just go. I want to talk to you. Yes. Can't I keep you just a little longer? I have ship to command. Uh, your passkey. Could you lend it to me for a while? I don't think it's a good idea. Even one is charming as you. Goes in, right. Get up. Yep, get up. Grab the key. Can I put it in the jacket? No. Read the tag. Because if I put it under the pillow, he'll notice it. But if I put it on the desk, he'll also spot it. Pillow. Lie back down. Ah, okay. Very tempting, my dear. Looks for his key, frowns. <laughs> Tickles me until I move. Takes the key. Oh! Trying to be a little longer, were you? Oh. Okay, what can I do? Okay, well, look in the jacket pockets. Cabin key. No wallet. Malcolm usually had that here. No incriminating notes. Take the key. That's that. Well, what? Is that the key to our room? Still time. Is that to Clarissa? Or is that to our cabin? Because it's just said Malcolm's key. So, uh, Clarissa's door. Listen. Sobbing, sobbing, ripping something up. R r sobbing. She's in there, all right. Knock on the door. Uh, let me in, please. No, Veronica, please. Just go away and never come back. You broke my heart. You, oh my. Are you talking about Malcolm? You never loved him. Not like I did. Yeah, let's not do that. We can't talk like this. Please open the door. I don't want to talk to you. You killed him. You killed him. Let's talk on deck. Not here. Not like this. I'll wait for you there. I don't want to talk to you. Please, Clarissa. 
enough to spoil her bed sheets. How could she know? How much did she see? Duck out of sight. A few minutes pass by. Push steps out. Hurries up the passageway. She's gone. Try the key. Did that? Did she give you a key, dearest? Wait, she did. I slip inside and close the door behind me. Drop an earring. The desk. Handwritten sheets. Look somewhere else. The nightstand. Um, put sleeping pills on the nightstand. Let's turn my name from the label and leave these here. The book. What are you reading? Oh, The Greater Britain by Oswald Mosley. Oh dear, one of Malcolm's nasty little books. Yeah, well, well, you could switch those two words. One of his, one of his Nazi little books. Small thoughts for small minds. You know why black shirts were black shirts, Malcolm? It's because Nanny doesn't teach them to wash their clothes. <laughs> Leave it there. Yes, let's just go there. Locked. So, I don't have the things anymore for uh, her. I kind of want to leave her just there. So that I can do stuff. Can I make a thousand pounds? Is the ship really sinking? I don't know. Like, those two... I think this might be in a good position, because we've just shown that she's... Can I go and talk to her then? Talk to him, Anders. No. Right. Go back down. Gone back to a cabin by now. Can I knock on a door again? Knock on the door again. Clarissa, go away! Leave. Actually, no, I'll wait in the corridor. Wait in the corridor and see if something happens then. Clarissa, knock. Go away. Step away. Wait in the corridor. 15 minutes. Okay, no, never mind. I need to make a choice. Oh, that's what that means. Uh, and then leave. Continue. No, let's... Let's go back to the chapel. Maybe the chapel will give me some ideas. A small chapel is tucked into the very bottom of the boat. I fall to my ba knees and bow my head. Father of heart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Something, something heaven. That's what you've got. This is school gold stuff. What do you want? I need some advice. What is it this time? Uh, how do I get a pass key? I actually hate to think what you would do with a pass key, but uh, but how do I get one? Anders likes you. Probably would let his guard down around you if you kept him busy enough. Anything else? Since you're here for once, uh, can I get Carstairs on my side? Carstairs isn't quite the chipper old salt he pretends to be. You know, someone knows his secret. Someone who always keeps one e ear open. What else? Don't hold back now. Get money. Miserable little witch. What happened to loving all your children? You clearly haven't had children. I know there's a way. You won't earn out life insurance unless the death was an accident or a murder. So you'd better turn yourself in. Except they won't pay out to a murderer either. Go take a hike. I'm tired of you. I hurry out of the chapel. Here's one. Oh, there you are. Need in the restaurant now. Walk me there. Certainly, madam, let me take your arm. So... Right. In the restaurant, Lady H. Carstairs and the Major Austin gathered. We're still standing pot, still sniffing. But we can play up that that's an emotional issue, which she needs her the pills for. 